Well, Millwall, it seems, now have work to do to keep themselves out of trouble. Three successive defeats in all competitions. It's left Joe Edwards and his side looking over their shoulder to head this afternoon welcome Preston North End to South East London. The Lily White's boss, Ryan Lowe, says it's clear that Edwards is stamping his identity on the hosts. Without the right results, though, pressure it ramps up quickly. On low from Spurs, Jaffik Tanganga this afternoon makes his Millwall debut. Freddie Woodman returns between the sticks for Preston following illness. They make Preston two changes. Preston's form right now, not exactly anything to write home about either. They become unstuck late on against Leeds last Sunday. They've lost four of their last five in all competitions. Millwall Football Club today mark their annual Memorial Day as they remember the supporters that have sadly passed away in the last year. forward by Potts picked up by the experience Harding and now Honeyman looks to get Millwall moving on the front foot picked up by the debutant Tanganga out to Norton Cuffey tries to navigate down the far touch line persistent work from him Honeyman into Fleming Zion Fleming inside the opening five minutes scores for the hosts So prolific against Preston. His first goal since October. He loves playing against North End. His sixth goal in such a short space of time against the Lily Whites. A powerful, towering header. A dream start for Joe Edwards' side. The boss pleased. Doesn't look it, but must be pleased with his side start. Beaten in their last nine league games against Preston North End. We will certainly started on the front foot, started the better side, the sharper side. Here's Brook Northern Cuffey again down the right. Hand flank, a deep cross, well picked up by Fleming. Shot goalwards, a low drive by Mitchell. Straight at Freddie Woodman on that occasion. A really good start by Millwall off the back of three defeats in all competitions. Been good out of the traps. These sides, of course, played out a one-all draw in the reverse fixture back in October. A struggle this season for Preston on the road. Their record at the Den of, in recent fixtures, not excellent. It's Frock here picking out Potts, though. Brad Potts is in behind, Potts from the acute angle. Brings the game level. Had almost the freedom of the capital. After he was picked out by Mads Frokia. An excellent pick. Potts driving into the space. Finishing low and hard past the keeper. Despite the efforts of Harding and Tanganga on the line. We were unable to keep it out. Parity in the capital again. Also, Brad Potts' first goal since October. A chilly afternoon. Everyone wrapped up warm. Preston improving in this first half. Very forward. Miller's in behind it, cuts onto his right foot, shoots straight at Sarkic. On loan from Basel, big opportunity for Liam Miller. Cutting onto his right foot, a tame strike. A 
They've only picked up four points from their last six league trips to London, Preston. Certainly improved when getting back on level terms in the first half. This now a clash in the championship on a knife edge. On the edge. Shot goalwards. Straight out Woodman. First time effort by Savile. Comfortable enough save for the keeper to make. Both bosses going to their bench. Tanganga into Esse. Now the impressive Norton Cuffey. Done really well down the right side this afternoon. Brooke Norton Cuffey picked his head up, shot across the face of goal. There was no Millwall shirt following it in. Dynamic work by the wide man. Just no support coming. Who will won two of their last three home league games, as many as they won in the 30 matches before that. Will they get a late winner this afternoon? Time is running out. In towards big chance. Kevin Nisbet seeking a goal, caught it really well. Savile creating the space for himself, twisting away from the challenge. Nisbet catching it really well, if anything, too cleanly. Big moment in this for Alan Brown, who this afternoon makes his 400th club appearance, joining some very esteemed company at Preston North End. Brown introduced, big moment for him, for his family, for the football club. He play his part in helping Preston get something on the road this afternoon. Ryan Lowe will hope so. Driven from right to left. Where will it settle inside the box? Up from the back, Liam Lindsay flicks the ball on. Potts following it in, shot goalwards and just wide from Will Keane. Nine goals this season to Keane's name. Hit double figures in his last three campaigns. Steered it just wide of the bottom corner. New wall ownership watching on on the day. Certainly this week, the club confirmed that the road leading up to the den will be re renamed John Berylson Way in memory of the former owner who so sadly passed away last year. Can we get three points in his memory this afternoon? Here's Brady now. Launching attack, an attack in behind. Potts following in. Shot straight at the keeper, Sarkic. Got the equaliser, seeking the winner, Brad Potts. A surging run by first Brady, finding Potts, met it first time. Sarkic standing up to push it away. From Busby, the referee, checking his watch. And there goes the full-time whistle. A point apiece at the den. Two sides. An exchange blow, Zion Fleming giving the host the early lead. Before Brad Potts equaliser, earns a point for Preston. A point apiece, may be fair. A debut for the host for Jaffa Tanganga. A point in the right direction for both Millwall and Preston. Full time at the den, Millwall 1, Preston North End 1.